This is these are the easy ones. So. <laughs> Okay, so we're using these to practice for the real ones. Three equations, three variables. Yes. Aren't you glad you came today? <laughs> okay. When to do one? Let's do another one like this though before we move on. Okay. Like I said, we're doing this tomorrow also. You want nice numbers? Or you want to make it up? Okay. Oh, let's see how this goes. Seven <coughs> X. Oops, let's go back. Seven X plus three Y equals thirty seven. Negative 5x minus 7y equals negative 41. Now, just so you know, when we do go to the 3 by 3, the process is the same. The steps are all the same. It's just finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix takes more time. You don't want to use your calculator because you lose, lose your game, Logan? Hmm? You don't want to use your calculator because you lose your game. So you're going to start. It's what they call the coefficient matrix. 7, 3, negative 5, negative 7. You're going to use the diagonals. Negative 36 for that. 34. 49, 15, yeah. Negative 34. Should be negative 49 plus 15. Is that okay? This is our coefficient. This is what we'll be dividing by. This takes the place of that 29 from our last problem. Okay. So now we're going to look for our x. So which numbers do I take out? The 7, negative 5, or the 3, negative 7? 7, negative 5, and they get replaced with the, the answers. The answers. So it's going to be. 37, negative 41, 3, negative 7. I guess I don't know for sure if this one works out or not, but we're going for it. Back, so weird. Number. times negative 7 minus 3 times negative 41. Get quick with this, it's just as easy to do another matrix as it is plug it in. Yeah. Either way, like this. I hope you.
you still feel that way after the 3x3s? <laughs> it could be. I think the 3x3s three are... I mean, it's easier than trying to do elimination. I think so. It's You still have to be very specific with what you're doing, and you have to pay attention to detail. And, but. Can't be lazy yet. Yeah, it should work out, Eddie. You know it, Christian. Tell you what, if we ever get up to four by fours and five by fives, we are solely using calculators or computers for this. We're not even going to do this by hand. It, when, once it starts getting to the point, I say it's not worth our time, then we're not going to just it. I think it's, I mean, it's just a lot to keep track of, and if you want to become a mathematics major, then you can do it in college. I did do. I had to put five by five matrices in reduced row echelon form. What? It's basically a lot of the elimination stuff. You have to work with matrices, a 5x5 five five matrix, until you have ones down the diagonal. Everything else is zeros. Good times. Uh, negative 34, you get 3. So it should be 4, 3. That's where they intersect. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Ready to go to three by three. We're going to do just a determinant. Now the same process is going to be true. We're going to go through one determinant of a three by three. Now that we got our brain all warmed up, we're thinking straight, right? Um, you may want some multiple colors, just so you know. Yep. So we get colorful. What's going on here? One cool thing that can happen is you can use this determinant to rule what we're about to do. And if you have a triangle on the coordinate plane, so if you take any triangle, any shape, you can use the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix to find the area of the triangle. You don't have to go base and height or anything like that. So a lot of times that is used in land surveys and stuff like that because they can just do the ordered pairs. They don't have to find the base and height. So got her done. Okay. Set her on my desk. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to jump down a little bit. I'm going to leave a little room ahead on top of mine. I'm going to determine it. Let's use these numbers negative 5, 9, 4, negative 2, negative 1, 5. Negative four, six, and two. Yeah. So this would be like negative five x plus nine y plus four z equals something. Negative 2x minus y plus 5z equals something, and negative 4x plus 6y plus 2z equals something. So 
So we're going to rewrite the first two columns to the right of the matrix. Easiest step. You're going to take those first two columns, you're just going to rewrite them over on the right hand side. Step. Here's when we actually start doing stuff. Start in the top left. We're going to evaluate the product of the three diagonals going down and right. So we're going to start at the top left. We're still using diagonals. You know how when we had 2 by 2 we just found that first basic diagonal. We're still doing diagonals but now we have to have three of them because we have a, we have a lot bigger system. So we're looking at this diagonal, this diagonal, and this diagonal. So this is why we wrote those two columns on the outside. And it's the product, so that means on each diagonal, we are multiplying those numbers. So negative 5 times negative 1 times 2. Ten. 9 times 5 times negative 4. Ooh, 45 times 4. Let's back it the other way. What's 5 times negative 4? Negative 20 times 9. What's 2 times 9? 18. So that'd be a negative 180. 4 times negative 2 times 6. Negative 48. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, 8 times 6, negative 8 times 6. Mm -hmm. uh, add the numbers together. So we're going to add, add. So 10 plus negative 180 plus negative 48. That'd be negative 218. So still kind of the diagonal, just on steroids. Yeah. yeah. That's not all. Because this is only one direction of diagonals. Now we have to go the other direction. 